What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're taking a look at screen recording in iOS 11 because this is now a native feature, and I actually covered it in my new and hidden features video for iOS 11, which you can find linked below, but it's pretty awesome to have around. As far as the iOS 11 beta goes, this feature isn't actually out in the open, so you have to jump into the control center section of the settings app and enable it. From here, you can actually customize where in the control center it's showing, but once you're done, it'll be visible, and it's pretty easy to use, there's literally one button to press to get going. Though if you 3D touch on that icon, you'll have an additional option to enable microphone recording as well. Once the recording has started, you'll need to swipe out a control center which will appear in the video, but it can easily be edited out after the fact. Now one thing you'll notice here is that blue bar at the top of the screen which indicates that the screen is being recorded and unfortunately at the moment that does show up in the final video but for most full screen apps it won't actually show so if you're recording gameplay or anything like that you won't have to worry. The screen recording here is super fluid as well at least on my iPhone 7. Now it's definitely a game changer for recording your screen natively on iOS but hopefully as the betas roll out we'll see more customization options for screen recording or maybe the ability to record the audio from the phone as well as you can currently only capture the microphone audio. So if I'm recording the screen with the microphone audio, this will allow me to do commentary or kind of show things off on my device, anything like that. It's pretty cool. Once you're finished recording, you can easily tap on the blue bar at the top to stop the recording, or alternatively, you can pull up the control center again and tap on the screen recorder icon. From there, the video will appear in your Photos app and you'll get a notification about that and you can do with it as you please. It's seriously really great to finally see native screen recording in iOS and we don't have to worry about third party apps sneaking it in or attempting to record it via a capture device or with a Mac. But let me know what you think about this new iOS 11 screen recording feature in the comments section below and be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.